And what's ruling about criticizing the ruler openly? Okay. <clears throat> First of all, the rulers now differ. In the past, there was one ruler ruling all the Muslims. Now we have separate, different countries ruled by many Muslim rulers. The rule of thumb is all those underneath the Muslim ruler must obey him, must be dutiful to him, must honor him, must not criticize him in public <clears throat> because this leads to way bad things than criticizing him would do any good. Nowadays, with these different countries and different rulers, we have this devious idea among Muslims. So if I belong to country X, it's okay for me to criticize the ruler of country Y. He's not my Muslim ruler. I obey my ruler, I respect him, I honor him, and I don't criticize him, but I can't criticize anyone else. And this is not true, firstly. Because he's a Muslim ruler, meaning whatever you say would be considered backbiting. To counter this, those people who criticize will say, yeah, but he's not a real Muslim. Aha, uh -huh. now we identify you as a khawarij. Are you giving him takfir? So, yeah, yeah, he's not a Muslim. He does not rule with the uh, law of Allah, of Sharia. He does this, he does that, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> now we can identify you that criticizing the ruler is part of the treats of the khawarij, and you are one of them. Secondly, what benefit would we attain when we criticize the rulers? People in America, people in Canada, Muslims, they've fled their countries, they managed to get a PR and then the passport, now they live there. What do they do? They give khutbah al Jumu'ah. MashaAllah, good. They memorize few surahs. They become an imam in the masjid, in the Islamic center. So they wear the thobe and the, 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 the topi, and mashallah, he looks okay, big beard, but where's the beef? And when they give khutbah al Jumu'ah, seriously, it's a big loaf of bread, but where's the beef? Big bun, where's the beef? What do you hear? What uh, do the masses learn? They criticize Muslim countries and rulers and agreements and, and the Muslims sitting there in America or in Canada or in Europe, they're not benefiting anything. They're not learning any of their religion. All what you hear is hatred. All what you taste is venom. <clears throat> and this is not Islam. So there is no use of criticizing Muslim rulers and it only would bring chaos, mischief. If you have a problem, go and talk to the ruler directly. Look at some countries. I wouldn't name, but you know. Eh, they say we have democracy, we have parliament, we have parties. Every time they have a problem over the prime minister, you get millions of people marching through the streets, demonstrating, protesting, attempts to assassinate, looting, burning of property, each one throwing accusation to the other. The Muslim country that has a lot to help itself and to stand proud and strong among the Muslim ummah is divided because of this kind of politics. Feud and fueled by Kafir countries, especially the neighboring countries. And everybody, and shaitan is, mashallah, good, good show. Keep up the good work. Is this what Islam is? And the problem is you see Mawlana's taking sides and putting fuel over the fire <clears throat> instead of calming the people and telling them to abide by the sunnah to obey the Muslim ruler, even if he's corrupt, even if he has uh, 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 embezzled and taken millions and billions of uh, uh, rupees or dollars or whatever, still he's the Muslim ruler. You cannot have stability and security in your country without trying 
to unite, and you're not doing this. So uh, uh, it is not something permissible, and Allah knows best. Salih.